Oh my God. Can you guys hear me? Hello? <laughs> are we starting, starting? We're starting, baby. What time is it? Maya, why are you checking the time? We already started. The Hello. time doesn't matter. Hello, welcome everybody. Wow. This is our first live wine about it. Yes. And our last. <laughs> yes. This is scary as hell. I said, I said, Maya, what do you want to talk about? She's like, I don't know. I'm just going to say, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. That's not what I said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? I said I'm not going to know what to talk about, but we have a couple things. Most of this, though, is going to be you guys asking questions. If you have questions to ask, there are two mics behind y'all in between those rows. If you have them, you can line up at those mics, and we'll just take them for the whole thing. So keep them in your brain. Keep them in your brain. Don't get in line right now because it'll stress me out. But at some I point, would I'll rather say, you get in line right now. No, so why? Because... Okay. I'll be like slowly and safely get in line. Well, they're not jumping up to get in line. They might. Okay, raise your hand if you'll probably ask a question. Okay, that's like Excellent. ten. That could cause chaos if they all ran. All right. Decide amongst yourselves, three of you, to go start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone oh, I choose know. your least favorite friend, and they have to go up, and they have to be the ones that ask the questions. Great. Great. How's uh, everybody's TwitchCon been? Good. Okay, sweet. Jesus Christ, I'm not over this. We have we have sign language. We've upgraded. We have a new member on our podcast. We've got sign language. Don't worry though, I have tested her. That's my queen. That was That's good. my queen. That was We've got it. We're taken care of. Um, we we decided to be a little wholesome and start off. I mean, this is a live podcast. Don't laugh. Who laughed? Did you Security. <laughs> that was my agent that just laughed at me saying we're going to be wholesome. I guess I just said so that's my fault. Um, we did just fight Twitch staff. So big shout out to Twitch staff for letting us sit on the tables. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But look, they love it. We're sitting on the tables. You might get an upskirt. I don't know. Crazy. We just thought it was, we thought it was more of a comfy vibe. It was weird sitting back there. It felt a little too professional. We're not professionals. No, we tried to get beanbags out here and they said it was too safe and that we would fall off. And we had to record a video saying that we weren't gonna sue. Yeah. Because this is not the right setup. Anyway, we're happy you guys are here. We have no clue what we're doing. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We want to, um, we wanted to talk about, we have a funny story of the first time we first met and I don't know if a lot of you know it. Do you guys know how we first met? <laughs> That's crazy. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. It was actually at a, it was TwitchCon 2019. I've only been to one other TwitchCon. It was 2019. That's when Cutie and I met. It was a disaster. It was cool. I was throwing a party and I was cool. Yeah. No need to laugh at my cool party. <laughs> it was cool. I actually, okay, I don't remember the first moment. It was in 2019. We went to a party. I went to a party. It was Cutie's party. I walked through the, were you at the door? Okay, picture this. I'm so cool. And I, uh, I throw a TwitchCon party, and I'm like, everyone bring drugs. She didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sick. Anyway, I didn't say that, Daniel Clancy. I did not say that, but I was like, we're going to throw a TwitchCon party, because I'm new to Twitch, and it's going to be awesome. And I invited a few friends, and then all of a sudden, everybody was there. Yeah. Everybody who's anybody was there, and was I was walking around my kitchen, and somebody fell through the ceiling. What? And that's how I knew my party was bad. My party was no longer good because someone th fell through the skylight. You didn't know that? No, that was before I got there. Yeah. I didn't know that happened. Yeah, well, like, you, missed, the glass? you missed a great party. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so I'm sitting there, and, you know, someone falls through the glass. And then there was also, there was this girl that I, I didn't get along with. <laughs> drama i didn't get along with her and she snuck into my twitchcon party wearing an oversized hoodie a wig and big sunglasses genius disguise and i went up to her and i said hey i don't like you get out of my party and then she sat on the curb and cried it was cool though don't worry guys <laughs> it was cool of me she didn't deserve to cry but she should have not been at my party she was mean. <laughs> she was mean i have to justify I just justified. Oh I'm not a bully. I thought we were talking about how we first met. This is not wholesome. We're going to have a party. Anyway, it was wholesome. But then Maya, when she comes to the party, she has to walk past Girl on Curb, who is crying because I just kicked her out. I console Girl on Curb. I say, that bitch, 
You, I said, you don't deserve this. You are so beautiful. I love you. And I was, no, I don't actually remember exactly how that happened. But that is the start to me walking in that party is there were a lot of upset people on the curb. And then I got there to the front door. There was one upset person on the curb. I don't know why I said a lot. There were several. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you shouldn't come to my party. Okay, well. Were you at the front door? I don't remember. I had just walked her out and then you had walked in. And she, Cutie was pissed. I was so mad. I had just stood on a table and I said, if I don't know you, get out of the house. This is like the first time I've ever thrown a party that people showed up to. So this was like a, a cool moment for me. Um, and then E-Rob stood up and he was like, okay, bye. Ugh, yuck. <laughs> I was like, Eric, sit down. Um, so he was allowed to stay, but then Maya walked in right after I'd kicked everyone out. Yeah. And she said, hi, I'm Maya. Yeah, I did say it like that. So annoying. Like, oh my God, hi, it's so nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> and That's then, how I sound when I met a bunch of y'all this, this weekend. Sorry about that. I'm curious if anyone's had like a bad interaction with us since you've been here. I actually have one. Okay. I literally see you. I recorded a video for your boyfriend today and it's been haunting me and oh. it's going to haunt me this whole weekend. You have to retake it. It was so embarrassing. Literally, record me right now. I, she was like, can you record a video for my boyfriend? And I just absolutely messed it up. I was like, oh, like, have a good, have a good, yeah, have <laughs> It was so bad. I was eating my pizza. <laughs> and she was like, say hi to Chris. And I was like, hey, Chris, how you doing? It was awful. Okay, well, hi, Chris. If you're watching this, I'm really sorry that you got that. God, you're so cringe. It's haunting me, dude. <laughs> The whole time I ate that pizza, I was sitting with three people, and I was like, I'm never going to let that go. I'm never going to let that go. And they were like, it was not that bad. I just made it so much worse. It's going to haunt me forever. Okay? I think everyone should know that if you did have a weird interaction with us, or if you, like, smelled bad or something like that, or if I smelled like dog pee, I smell like dog pee today. Oh. My dog peed on this. It's not a big deal because none of us will remember, right? Yeah, we're right? all going to forget. We're all gonna forget. Nobody noticed. Just like Maya didn't remember that I had just kicked someone out of my party the first time we met. Yep. Yep. No, I didn't know about the skylight. I knew about that. Oh, you didn't know about that? Yeah. You didn't know about cool drugs? No. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I didn't. I also stood on a table at that party. Why? I got drunk. In my house? In your house, yeah. I got super, super drunk and I stood on the counter. And then Lud had me get down. <laughs> that was the first time I met Ludwig, too. Maya, it's not cool to brag about drinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to Wine About It. Yay! <laughs> if we're being frank, we don't know why you guys like us. Uh, we don't like us. I hate her. Touche. <laughs> but we are, we are ready for questions. If you will calmly and collect, and like a fire drill in elementary school, you can walk to the, the microphones back there if you have a question. Single file, please. <laughs> Nobody gets up. No, okay. <laughs> no. Oh, there no. we go. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so chill. Okay, thank you. So, single file. Kind of expected a few more, but that's, it's okay. <laughs> oh, no, you guys are just being respect. Thank you. Look, no panic. I you wasn't worried about it. You wanted them to panic. I said, amongst yourselves, decide. Because I knew they could do it. Look at this. So chill. I'm stressed. Would you know, you're not on this side. A Swifty. A Swifty. We will be taking our first question from a Swifty. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to ask, when you go to an amusement park, what's one snack you need to eat when you're there? That's all her. <laughs> oh, not like that. No, like, because she's always in Disneyland. She's always at Disneyland. She knows any, what to eat at Disneyland. Any amusement park. No, I take this to Disneyland, and you're like, I want, I want Dole Whip. I want Dole Whip. That's I want Dole Whip. What's the problem? So how do you not have an answer? How do you immediately point at me? Because you know everything about it. I was like, here, cutie, take the floor. I wanted you to take it. I don't have an answer yet. Why about it's canceled? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my go-to, I love pickles. My go-to is pickles. I like Dole Whip. Swag, <laughs> thanks. Thank you for that question. I appreciate that. We do this side. Hi. I was just wondering, what is your, like, biggest ics about each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, my God. The biggest I love the best friend about drama. each other. Um, and me and my best friend go back and forth all the time, so I'm just curious. <laughs> my biggest ick for Cutie is whenever I make an unrelated comment about food, she thinks I'm calling her fat. <laughs> Okay. 
um, my biggest. I like you. Um, Aww. Not like that. Um, my biggest. Oh my god! You know my biggest ick. You got a stupid ass boyfriend, and now you always want to hang out with him. What? Yeah. yeah. Okay, first of all, we live in different states. Second of all, <laughs> Kieran and I are on the phone for hours a day, and he's just there. He doesn't, he doesn't even say anything. I jump in the shower, I'm on the phone with Cutie. I get out, I'm on the phone with Cutie, and it's just like, oh, hey. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I, okay, I just, I don't, I'm, 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 cope, I'm reaching. I'm reaching for something. I think I don't like... I don't like... I'm scared. Oh, my God. I like what bothers me. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's nice of you, but like sometimes you order us Hawaiian barbecue. Yeah. And you, it's nice. Oh, she hates sauce. And you take, and she orders. Listen, you could just remove, like, okay, she orders me chicken with like cabbage and then macaroni salad and macaroni salad has mayonnaise on it and instead of just excluding macaroni salad from my order she wants to eat the macaroni salad that's because that's the only Which reason is, i get hawaiian barbecue is i order macaroni salad that's fine and so her meal comes with macaroni salad and so i take it for myself but then she gets upset because it's like touching her chicken <laughs> if you're gonna take it just wipe off the mayo Tell it's, me y'all would get a napkin to your friend's chicken and wipe off the mayonnaise. Well, sometimes I see the mayo and I'm like, ew, yuck. Oh my God. All right, next time. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your question. For that question. Great question. We'll be fighting from here on out. Uh, Hawaiian shirt. Hello, I'm Leo. Oh, um, hello. Just wondering if anyone else has friendship bracelets and when we're trading them. I have wine about it one. Aw, cute. Friendship, raise your hands if you are wearing friendship bracelets. Oh my God. Wow. That's a lot of people. I'm, I'm staring at my agent. They don't know. I've, I'll find you if we haven't traded. Well, fine. I'll, if fate brings us together, it brings us together, you know? And make the friendship bracelets and take the moment and... <laughs> take it. Taste it. <laughs> What's the point, you know? But good question. I will try. I'm going to try to figure out how to find some of you. That sounds creepy, but... I will. If you haven't traded with me yet, I do have friendship bracelets. Nice. I wanted to know if you guys regret hiring Prezzo to run the wine about it Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, art is different for every person. <laughs> My only regret, number one, it's free labor. We haven't paid him. Okay. He hasn't let us pay him because he hasn't done anything. He keeps saying, once I work a full month, you can pay me. And I said, great, keep up your work ethic then. Nothing's changed. So he's worked for free. Uh, we'll pay him someday, maybe. But I think my only regret is that he hasn't posted more. Thank you. His, yeah. his tweets are funny. They, they do very well. They do very well. Prezzo is our employee of the month after okay. Durs. I would like to make that very clear. What? And Fusion. Oh, Fusion, our actual editor our actual who's in the audience. Here. I'm sorry, you didn't get it this month. I'm so... You're great. You're good, though. But, like, you know, durs. Uh, all right. Next question. This side. If you guys were the last two people on Earth, like, in the apocalypse, who would die first? Oh, her. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought you were going to ask if we would, like, try to repopulate. I was going to be like, girl, first of all, that's not possible. Um, but no, that's, that's an easy answer. I would, I would, uh, I would do my falconry shit. I would, uh, tame a red-tailed hawk and I would hunt for myself and I would survive on my own and it would be beautiful. Hey, okay. <laughs> Why couldn't we, okay, there's, okay. <laughs> Maya, we're the last two people on earth. We can't work together. That's not an option. The question you was who would die first? We could work together until we're like old. I'm down for that. Okay, and then I'll eat you, so you'll be dead. <laughs> Didn't we talk about this? On yeah, I said you. Would, I would get hungry, and you'd be like, "Fine." Is that what we said? Yeah, that's what I you said. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Well, if it's, I'm not letting you. If it comes down to that, she wins. If we have to kill each other, I'll kill her. Yeah, she would. Yeah, she would for sure take me in a fight. Be so so it, lonely. Though. If it came down to that, she would win. Uh, I'll die. All right. <laughs> 
Good, good answer. All right, next question. Hi, uh, fellow Swifty. Oh, um, put your hand down. If you guys, <laughs> you guys fangirl over anybody besides Taylor Swift? <sighs> Tomater. <laughs> so I, Ludwig has a sponsorship with Croc, and there's a Tomater Croc jo- drop. You guys have seen them, and yeah. I've seen them. And uh, so I told Ludwig, I said, Maya, Maya needs those in a kid's size three. <laughs> and Are you laughing? <laughs> She's so serious. <laughs> and, so, and so he's like, okay, I'll get them. And then yesterday, his ass goes to Maya, like the most thoughtful friend in the world. Oh, he's wearing Tomater Crocs. He was wearing them yesterday. And I was like, how did you get those? Because yeah. you're not supposed to be able to get them yet. And then he was like, I got you a pair. And I was like, don't do that. That's not funny. Like, that's, don't, don't, don't mess with me. And he was like, no, I really did. He made himself sound like the bestest friend in the whole wide yeah. world for getting Maya these tomato crops. Yeah, and I'm sitting there and really I was like, nice I'm never going to say anything mean about you ever again. You're the best friend ever. I told him to get them. I know. Sorry. I didn't know that at the time. What was the question? <laughs> oh, fangirl. Uh, um, God, I used to go to like Comic Cons and stuff like that back in the day. I remember being star- like starstruck by Tom Felton at one point, which is kind of funny. I was a big Draco Malfoy fan. He's Draco Malfoy. Uh, really starstruck the first time I ever met Bjergsen. <laughs> I was really starstruck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't good. make that face. Uh, double lift, I was really starstruck. I'm mostly starstruck for like humans that you can actually interact with compared to like, even with Taylor Swift, I can't, I'm not gonna, I don't know what to say to her. What am I, what am I gonna do? She's so famous. I can't talk to her like a human, so. Um, what about, um, mm. what? Oh, Legolas? Yes. I've never met Orlando Bloom. Oh. Because if I did, we would fall in love and run away and there'd be lots of drama, so. <laughs> Thank God I haven't. <laughs> Next question. Oh, sorry, I did, I did not mean to, like, interrupt. <laughs> oh, you're okay. <laughs> Um, excuse my voice. Uh, my name is Tiana. You guys are beautiful tonight. Um, but my question's a little, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. How different do you think your guys' lives would be if you guys never met or ever became best friends? We'd be so much happier. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, but we were still streamers. We just didn't know each other. We weren't friends. Do we ever stream in this scenario? There's two different answers. If we streamed, if... If we, if we were, sh- uh, w- <laughs> I'm fine. I'd what? say um, just, yeah, sure. Life is still exactly the same. You both are still streamers, things like that. Yeah, you guys will still end up running. Into oh, you each just other, play but- TFT, so I've never talked to you. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I would play TFT. TFT? Yeah. You so we've never about? talked. What are you talking about? This is the scenario we live in. Hello, wake up. <laughs> Fine, I'll play TFT, so you never come over to the TFT section. You can stay with the animals. Oh! We've never talked, we've never been friends. How would our lives be different? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a really confusing scenario. You're just saying if we were doing all the same stuff, except we just weren't friends, so neither of us are playing TFT. <laughs> I would like to. Okay. <laughs> She's a TFT streamer. Um, how would our lives be different? Well, God, I'd play so much TFT. Yeah. For one. <laughs> Uh, we would not have wine about it, number one. Oh, I would with someone else. Okay. <laughs> she probably would. Um, we wouldn't have co-hosted the Stream Awards. Is this the kind of answer you want? You want me to yeah, Pokimane would have been my together? co-host. Yeah. Stream Awards would be way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I think, I think the, the better question is if we were never streamers. Because I think that's the only way we wouldn't have met. Because I, I think it's impossible yeah. to be... True. Unless there's like a secret... I, Maybe, maybe there's another Maya for me out there on twitch.tv that I just haven't met yet. Maybe. Sounds I'll find her after this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if we were never streamers and we never met, I, it's just an insane question. Uh, respect. Your question was fine. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're, I'm insane. Um, I, we just would be different if... <laughs> know how to answer that question, okay? 
if I had never streamed and I didn't meet Cutie, I would not have Alveus, uh, but I would still be, I'd probably be working at a zoo. I'd be working with animals, I'd be working at a zoo, I'd be doing conservation, but traditional form. So I'd have like a safari hat and a snake and I'd go to kids' birthday parties and be like, this is Bertha. <laughs> like, <laughs> you want a petter? That would be me. I would have a normal job yeah. and normal friends yeah. <laughs> and be happy. <laughs> That too. It'd be awesome. Be <laughs> I think about quitting every day. Uh, anyway, it's a blessing. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> uh, next question. First of all, I want to say thank you to the Swifty who asked the first question. I brought both of, or I made both of y'all friendship bracelets, but I left them in Texas where I live. Uh, so yeah. I haven't been able to give them to y'all, and she gave me a friendship bracelet. So Aww. thanks to her. Um, second oh, nice. of all, for That's my cute. question, why didn't Prezzo come to Vegas, and when are you going to take him to Cirque du Soleil? Um, does he like Cirque du Soleil? Or are you just that, asking, like, hypothetically? You, you said it on the last podcast. So. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even listen to our podcast. That's crazy. Uh, me neither. Thanks, thanks for listening. Um, number one, he's not coming to Vegas because he can't afford it because we don't pay him. Um, <laughs> number two... He would hate it. He would hate going to Cirque du Soleil with us. I don't even think he likes us. I don't think so either. That's probably why. We should probably pay him. You're right. You're right. That's a good question. I don't know when that will happen, but I, I, like, I like the question. Next question. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you're able to give us any TwitchCon exclusive leaks about any upcoming events. Yeah, Maya. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> hey. I was going to do the thing where I was like, oh, that's all her. I thought she'd get triggered again. I mean, like either Cutie about an event we don't know about or Maya about like an Alveus collab maybe. Yeah, you do events, too. Um, I think... I haven't confirmed confirmed, but I have confirmed. This morning I'm going to have Ray and Foosley in December. Hopefully. Mm. I'm going to co-host the Stream Awards with Winnie the Cow. <laughs> it's a big leak. Uh, biggest leak. Uh, obviously, you'll all have to ask surprise when this actually comes out but I've paid the deposit, so there's no changing. The Streamer Awards for 2024 will be February 17th. Yeah. It's so close to Valentine's Day. It is close to Valentine's Day. It's Stompy's birthday. Thanks. Stompy can be my co-host instead of Winnie. Chicken birthday. All right, next question. Hello, I'm Yonster. Um, my skull is going to... My question is pretty similar to the last one. Um, you know, with Alveus and with the Stream Awards being as big as they are, where do you see, what do you see as your next big goal? I'm going to buy Alveus <laughs> <laughs> with the money I make from the Stream Awards. I'm going to sell it. Um, I, oh, I think my goal overall with Stream Awards and now the Gala for Good is to do something every six months to bring a vast community together. I think as Twitch streamers, we have a really hard time with, I mean, we're lonely bitches, right? We're all, we all kind of stay on our own islands. We don't have coworkers. We don't have people to interact with. And by doing these events every six months, I think it's a good excuse to get everyone together. Um, but the hardest thing of all of this is I am only one person. And so I can only reach so many corners of the internet. So my biggest goal is to make both of these events bigger so I can invite more people and I can include more areas of the internet because overall, I want a place where everyone feels represented. I want a community feeling. I think it was something that worked years ago on Twitch and as Twitch has gotten bigger, we've kind of lost that sense of community. There's so many different islands. So any chance that I get to bring those islands together is what's really, really important to me. So my biggest goal with these shows is just making them bigger so I can bring more people together. Uh, I, like, I like having like a family reunion twice a year is kind of my goal with it. So I, I think, I've talked about this before and obviously this is a podcast format so I can talk more, but I, I grew up very isolated, very bullied, very, you know, would throw a birthday party and two people would show up and then they'd leave early because it was lame. And so being able to do this now where people actually show up and I can see them having fun and enjoying each other, like, look at all you bitches, this is crazy. Um, yeah, it's crazy. 
it means the world to me. And so, like, seeing you guys here, seeing, like, I know, I, I hope that you guys have made friends if you're in, like, the, the Wine About It Discord or even Wine About It Twitter or stuff like that. I think a few of you have been able to bond over, like, the content we make. And that stuff's important to me as well. So as long as I keep making content that can cultivate friendships, that's all I care about. That was a damn good answer. Thank you. Was the question just, what is, what is, your, what is your goal? <laughs> yeah. Next goal. Um, well, Elvis is always working on rescuing new ambassadors. Uh, so we're working on a vulture. We really want to do a vulture soon. So I'm really excited about that. The overall goal with Alveus is just teach as many people as possible. And so for that, for us, that means rescuing as many animals as possible, building them enclosures, hiring new staff as we have to to take care of those animals, and then sharing the conservation messages of them. So as long as I have a platform, we will keep growing Alveus, and I'll do that for as long as we can, teach as many people as I can about conservation. That's, that's my goal. Yay. Good questions. Okay, back over the, yeah. I don't know my right and left, so. It's all good. That um, way. If you guys are feeling like absolute dog shit, what is like the media or whatever you do to feel better? If there is something Hers like Hers is that. TikTok. Oh, I, yeah. She loves. I love TikTok. No, if I'm, yeah, if I'm super off, it's not good for you. But I do like to lay down and watch TikTok. I would not recommend. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm weird. Um, I love sorting beads, and, um, okay, people giggled. That's, we all have our things. Um, I like sorting beads, and it, listen, I love Lil Simsy. I don't know if you know her. She is my comfort streamer. I listen to her all the time. She's probably, like, if I'm not watching her I'm, while sorting beads, I'm listening to Modern Family right now for some reason. I don't know. I'm on, like, season four. 13 or something. It just keeps going. It hasn't run out. So I like mindless TV or something that you can just have in the background while I'm actively doing something. Yeah, we also love crafting. Highly recommend crafting. Yeah. You guys should give it a shot. Also, Craft about whatever, it. You want. Quickly, Make whatever you if want. You, mm. If you don't mind, cutie, you peed your pants last week? What's up with that? I don't think she did. My house is... I'm just so rich and my house is... <laughs> My house is so big, I just, you know, I was like running, I like slipped on the marble, and the butler got in the way, and I just peed. I just peed. It's not a big deal. It's like, whatever. Understandable. I was at Hassan's house. I was really Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I actually have separate questions for both of you. One is more wholesome, and one is more drama related. Which one I'll should I do the, first? I'll take the wholesome one. I'll take the wholesome one. Uh, oh, no, I, I meant, should. they're... Oh, they're, they're, she's asking both. I'll take oh. the drama one. Yours, yours was the drama one. Perfect. So, um, <laughs> that makes sense. So, uh, more of like an anecdote. When I was leaving the Hassan meet and greet on Friday, I saw that you were kind of beefing with the security. I kind of wanted to know more oh, yeah. about that. This is so funny. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. I, I was, so, okay. I was, yeah, they wouldn't let me in to the Fear and meet and greet. I had to go, I was like, that's my podcast. And they were like, you're not on the list. I Googled a picture. I said, see those three boys? I'm the girl. <laughs> and they were like, you're not on the list. I said, I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do? And they're like, have one of them come get you. I said, they're meeting, they're, they're meeting people. And then I had to sit there and I had to wait. And then Austin sent someone to come get me. And then I went back there. But yeah, I, I was beefing. And then I saw that same security guard like four times. And I was like... <laughs> I like pretty woman to him. I like had like Hassan next to me. I was like, big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Maya, I was curious if you were gonna collab with like Urban Rescue Ranch at any point. In the I future? get this question all the time. I'm so I, sorry. There I'm might so be sorry. a command in my chat for it. <laughs> um, what's up? Oh, I said I'm just. I'm so sorry. It's, it's, there's get... command you are in my chat. That's a good question. That's so funny. No, People it's fine. People want to know. Um, yeah, I know Ben. Uh, we exchange ideas a lot about enclosure builds, about materials for enclosures, stuff like that. Uh, I've not seen his place. He has seen my place. Um, we both care a ton about wildlife and a ton about the natural world. Uh, we do our content very differently. Uh, so we don't have any public collabs planned, but okay. we do exchange ideas. Uh, we both love the same things. Very cool. Thank you. 
I just got so there's so many people. This is I, this is crazy. I, I I had a moment. I just came back into my body. Um, wow, guys, look at you all. I'm sorry. That's crazy. Okay, hi. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Next question. I'll go back out. Uh, hi. I started watching you guys a few months ago. You guys are hilarious and beautiful. Um, yeah. I was just curious about your guys' lore. Like, what motivated you to start streaming? Yeah. So. My mom died. Um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I was working a full-time job and I would play League of Legends every single night and I felt like it wasn't very productive and I was very lonely because my mom just died. And my mom's dead, if you guys don't know. Um, and, uh, and so I started streaming kind of in the opposite parasocial way. I just really wanted people to talk to. I still remember like my very first chatters. Like I know their names. The very first person that ever chatted in my chat, his name was Ice Truck Killer. <laughs> and it really stressed me out until I learned that it was like a Breaking Bad thing or something. Yeah. Um, he's recently changed his name to like Laser One or something like that. Anyway, I, I thoroughly remember all of my very first chatters and stuff like that. And uh, I just needed people to talk to. Um, and then... I learned that was bad and that's how you get stalkers. <laughs> um, but I did, I played League every single night for months, just hours every night and then would go to my job in the morning. And I didn't even want to be a streamer. Um, and then one of my mods uh, told me about this streamer named Raj and showed me his videos and I was like, that's hilarious. Cause I watched The Bachelor and I was like, I would be so, they were missing the mean girl. Um, and I've been bullied my whole life. I know how to be mean. I know what to say. I've heard it. So I, I just went on those shows and I kind of blew up from there. Um, and then I didn't even, I didn't go full-time streaming until COVID hit. Um, and my full-time job was like dwindling down. Um, and then I went full-time and that's, that's my lore. My lore is I was dating a guy for five years and then we broke up when I was 20, I think. So my mom's I was, still alive. My mom is still alive. <laughs> so it wasn't that, but I was lonely. Um, and so I met some guys who were streamers. They followed me on Instagram. I did singing videos on Instagram, and they were like, you should sing on Twitch. So I did, I was in the music section, and I was with a MacBook Air on my bed singing, just like really bad. And You should like sing for us right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, we're not doing no, that. No, but like think about it. What if you like... We're not doing that. <laughs> So anyway, um, I was also a falconer at the time, and my job was that like, this is Bertha like safari outfit thing. So I was going out traditionally doing conservation education. I was a falconer. I was rehabilitating a red-tailed hawk. One day I was doing the singing thing, and I was like, yeah, I have a hawk in my backyard, and they were like, no, you don't. <laughs> and so they wanted to see it, so I brought Bean out into my kitchen to show them. Uh, and that's the first clip of me that went on Reddit, and uh, it went from there, and I, I realized that I could do what I was doing in person, online, and not have to take the animal anywhere, uh, and then I was hooked into streaming. But also didn't start to be a streamer. Both started because we were lonely bitches. We're not like the other streamers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're so different and cool. <laughs> I was actually at, I was at the, like, the Twitch streamer VIP lounge today, and I was sitting with... Um, uh, Princess, Princess Pizza G and uh, Britt and Michaela and we were talking about how it's like hard as women in the industry not to like get pitted against each other and you know all that jazz and, uh, and I was like yeah it's because we're a bunch of pick me girls that ended up on the same platform and we have to learn that like if we just if we just learned that we are in fact like the other girls we could take we could over the world. Friends. Yeah, it's we it's Barbie, baby. Like <laughs> ladies, we gotta stop thinking we're we all like the same. We love pumpkin spice, okay? Yeah. Just accept it. We all like it. It's not cool to not like it. We like it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right guys? <laughs> I actually uh over there. Hi. Um oh, my name's James. Uh my wife and I just got married a little bit ago and I, uh, apparently I'm a Swifty now, so that's crazy. Yeah! Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and, um, I mean, I just also heard, I mean, 
I knew she loved you guys uh, before we got married, and um, it wasn't until she started living with me um, that I just started to see more of your content, and uh, I think Maya, you said something about pangolins, and then I was like, oh my god, I love pangolins, like, what the, nobody knows about the pangolins, um, and then, um, and then Cutie, I, you know, I just began to, like, understand a little bit better why my wife loves you so much. Um, it's weird, because I wasn't invited to the wedding, but... <laughs> Um, but I guess my, my question is, um, when you guys did start getting, like, bigger, um, and then sort of, like, because, like, I work a lot, but I stream, a, you know, a decent okay amount, how did you balance kind of transitioning from, hey, I'm, like, working, and then it's, like, okay, I'm getting bigger as a streamer, like, you know, because, uh, I don't know. I think a lot of people might want to know how that jump, works. you jump, essentially, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, it's when you start saying, like, people pog in everyday conversation. You're like, oh, no, I've gone too far. Um, no, my advice, because I just did streamer camp with Fusli and BoxBox Box and uh, Myung, and uh, a lot of the streamers were asking that. They're like, when do I go full time? Should I, go, should I quit my job now? And uh, my biggest advice to that is do not quit your job until the money you are making from streaming is equal or surpassing. Uh, you ha do not quit until you're making a livable amount off of streaming. It's just, it's just too much of a gamble at that point. Uh, that's my advice. No, Take I, it as a grain I, of salt. I agree with that advice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we should start a podcast. <laughs> um, I don't have good advice for this one because I got really lucky, as do a lot of big streamers. Is I had a clip go viral on Reddit, and then I just my first job out of college was streaming. Um, but if I had to give advice, it would be the same as hers. Equal or more, don't quit your job for it. It's not worth it. It's, it's a really, it's, it's unstable. Who knows what happens to social media platforms, you know? Yeah, you have, it's so unstable to the point that, like, if you, if you watch my stream, if you watch Wine About It, which I assume you guys do, this would be crazy if this was your first time seeing us. Um, yes, you. you know I've got mental illness, and there, this past year has been the hardest year for me for mental illness, and... I haven't been able to stream as much. I, I used to stream 90, 100 hours a month, and we're lucky if we get 40 out of me right now, which is crazy. And it's nothing I ever expected, but that's the problem with streaming, is like, if you're not streaming, you're not making money. If you're not, if you're not grinding, you aren't making money. So you have to make sure that you're like in a place that is comfortable enough that you can make that transition and know that you'll be safe. So I just do it with a lot of thought and a lot of uh, like plan out before you just jump type thing. Over there. Hi. Um, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for sitting on the table because it makes it so much easier for us to see. So yeah. Hear that? Where's production? <laughs> it's are. cool. They, they like, like it. it. Yeah. And also, as one of the girls, I'd like to say I love the ice pumpkin spice chai tea latte from Starbucks. It's like my favorite thing ever. Um, <laughs> now onto my actual question. Um, I've been watching you, Cutie Cinderella, and Ludwig play the fruit game religiously oh, oh my God, no. this last week. Like, is it is a comfort stream for me at this point. And I just wanted to say, how much of your time off stream has that game been taking up? Um, it was really funny because Connor Dog VA was in town, and so pretty much if he wasn't streaming it, if Lud wasn't streaming it, or if I wasn't streaming it, we were watching Lily Pichu stream it. So <laughs> we're obsessed. But we, we did just get our five-minute warning. Um, so unfortunately, we will ask everyone to take your seats, and we're going to wrap this up. No. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. But don't blame us. Blame. Did you say she said? Sh it's okay. I'm so sorry. No, oh, fine. you're fine. Like you're it. fine. Um, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to end this. I don't either. Those are some good questions. Thank you guys for your questions. You made this so easy. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't get to all of them. I think. Um, I think it is overwhelming to see you guys in person. And yeah, yeah, we could make an episode out of it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, 
this is overwhelming. I, I, I have a hard time contextualizing numbers and this is crazy. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for coming. Thank you for all the kind words that we've heard this week. You guys have been so incredibly nice. Um, I'm so grateful to have the community that we do have from Wine About It and it's not possible without you guys. I, I can't say enough how shocked I am every single time someone's like, oh my gosh, I love Wine About It. I know, me too. Um, and I will say, Wine About It's on a bit of a journey. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, but thank you for bearing with us as we figure that out. And it's just been incredible sharing this experience with all of you. So thank you so much for coming. Uh, it means the world to me, so thank you. Can I take a picture of you guys? Should we? Can we take? We can't take a selfie of this, right? What? There's too many to take a selfie, right? I gotta like too many panoramic to them. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta panoramic. Well, yeah, we can take a selfie. Right, I'm doing a panoramic first. What are you? Okay? okay. Cutie's legs are in it. Oh. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. It's telling me to slow down. Sorry. Drink a Red Bull. Okay, wow, amazing. Thank you guys, beautiful. Should we try to, I, we can try to take a selfie. I don't think it's gonna work very well. You told us not to move, but. What? I'm standing up. Okay. Thank you guys for coming. It means the world to us. Thank you so much.